Hey guys, welcome back to Sapper Steel Forge. Now I know what you think. What in God's name is he up to now? Well, usually the answer is no good, but I'll make an exception this time. <laughs> now, uh, so I, I finally broke down and, and got myself a big lathe. Uh, I mentioned that in the previous video where I was having a rough week. And again, thank you to everybody who reached out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. It meant a lot. It, it was a, it was a rough week, and my father passed, and we're just getting through. You know, that's all there is. Life goes on. We we have to keep pushing forward. So this week, uh, my daughter is fostering a young man. I'm not going to mention names. Uh, he has come here and apprenticed with me once or twice. Heck, I don't know. I can't keep track of nothing. But uh, anyways, it's his birthday. He's turning 18. So I thought, what better time to try out this new lathe, and uh, we're going to try and make him a cup. I've not used this thing yet. Uh, I've only ever used the middle, little mini lathe. I've turned this thing on with this big chunk of wood on it, and it kind of wobbles, but I think we're going to be okay. Or y'all are going to get to watch me get killed by a piece of wood. Uh, it's definitely one of the two. <laughs> um, you know, I got... I got a pretty good amount of faith in this thing. It's, it's sturdy. I think it should hold the wood. Anyways, so that's what we're going to try. I know it's not the usual. We're going to get back to the usual. We're going to get back to forging things out. We got, uh, we had a lot of orders for the same thing. I'm not, uh, not knocking it. <laughs> Please don't think I'm complaining. It was, uh, it was wonderful. It was unexpected. I don't understand why that knife took off, but people just all of a sudden just wanted a lot of those Celtic ring knives and they just blew up. And I sold more of those in the past month than, than I ever had, you know, combined. So, hey, thank you to everybody who bought one. That was wonderful, but it didn't make for great video content because <laughs> uh, it would have looked the same over and over again because I was making the same knife over and over again. But we are going to, you know, get back to it. We've got one coming up. We are going to do one more Celtic ring knife at least for a video. It's a very special one. First time that somebody's ordered a, a really good twist on it. Well, not a twist. They want a sax shape. I've been dying to do that. I've been so busy. I haven't been able to make one for me. But I really want one for me. I think they're going to look awesome with a sax. And we're going to do something really cool with the, uh, the kind of leather wrapping we're doing. So, it's going to be a very different looking knife while still being the same knife. So, we're going to do a video on that one. That'll be cool. But uh, other than that, we're going to try this thing out here. You can see uh, we got a big old chunk of wood in there. This thing is huge. Uh, I was, I'd been eyeballing some tabletop models of a lathe. And uh, this one just went on sale. It was the biggest one they had. And it ended up being cheaper than the tabletop at the time during the sale. And I just couldn't pass it up. So uh, let's give this thing a try. See if I, either I'm going to make a cup or I'm going to severely damage myself. Let's see which it is. <laughs> As an added bonus, I've got like three hours to accomplish all of this because of uh, screwing around all morning. So, uh, I've noticed a couple of things that uh, maybe the uh, the guy, the professional guys who do this all the time forgot to mention to us beginners. Uh, number one, the tension on the, the, the belt in the back really matters. I should have been able to figure that out, which I, I did figure it out, but that's what the problem was at first. The tension wasn't quite right, so I cranked up the speed. 
I didn't feel like tensioning the motor, so I just turned up the speed by adjusting the belt. So that's working good now. And the second thing is that every piece that comes off it seems to have a laser direct to my face. They don't mention that. I mean, just every one just whack right in the head. Oh well. <laughs> Gonna narrate this part real quick because a piece of bark just flew off that thing and went straight up my nose. Now, <laughs> uh, yeah, I wouldn't have bet anything on that being physically possible, but it sure did it. Let's see if we can't make adjustments one more time to get this thing right. Okay. That should fix the problem. I've tensioned it up for the low speed. The only bad thing is this little piece right here did not come with the uh, the bolt to tighten it like it was supposed to. So I had to find one that kind of fit. And the problem is it only kind of fits. So we don't hold it real good. But uh, you know, you, you do what you can with what you got. Let's, uh, let's get this thing going again. Oh, yeah, so, safety first. Definitely remember to unplug your equipment when you're working on it. But try to remember to plug it back in when you try to use it. We have debarked it. Um, I'm genuinely wondering if most professionals don't do just remove the bark in some other way before they get started because that was more than a little bit of an unpleasant process. If you're a wood turner and you're, you're watching this for whatever reason you might be watching this, somebody like dared you or you're being punished for a crime or something. I'm so very sorry. That's, that's how I'm going to say that. Uh, I am sorry your life has come to having to watch me do this mess. That's a... Uh, but then again, you probably did something really terrible. So maybe you deserve it. I don't know. 
<laughs> Alright, so as I've seen so many do, and I'm good, I have found myself that it's useful, is you want to have that uh, rest just as close as you can get it. without it hitting. And mine has a good bit more wiggle than everybody else's, unfortunately. But we're going to... Alright, so now I'm going to switch over to this large thing that I've seen everybody else using. Now, <laughs> I'll be honest, I haven't watched quite enough of the instructional videos to know what I'm doing. But everybody else uses this for this part, so that's what I'm going to try. Let's get it going.
Alright guys, so uh, this is the end of the video and it's a complete failure. Just, uh, it, it's not working. Uh, I don't know if it's the wood or whatever, but uh, frankly, I'm very unhappy with this lathe. Every time I turn it on, I, I'm stopping every two minutes to tighten up everything. All of the nuts and bolts. And, and they're adjustment bolts, so I can't, it's not like I can put Loctite on them and fix it. I, I've got to be able to adjust stuff. But they're all coming loose within seconds, and it's just screwing up everything. You see, uh, it destroyed the edge. It, every time I put it into this little chuck here that's supposed to hold it, it lasts for seconds, and then it starts wobbling, and it's... Yeah, this isn't working. I, I'm going to watch some videos, and maybe there's some ways to get around this sort of thing, something that I'm not seeing. But frankly, I think it's... I think it's a problem with the uh, manufacturing. I can't imagine why you would make something that all the screws and stuff come loose as it works. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna, uh, I got stuff laying around the house that I've made before. I will grab him something I've made for a birthday present uh, that kind of sucks, but you know, hand, home, homemade, handmade stuff's always, cool i will probably try again with this piece i can turn it down smaller and go again maybe maybe that's what the problem is maybe it's just too big and too heavy of a piece it's pretty clunky but i i mean i've seen people work with bigger pieces so i i don't know anyways uh yeah <laughs> the uh the week continues but that's gonna be it for this week guys uh thank you all for watching uh hey i post failures going here too man everything does not always work out and i did everything i can to try to make this work but it's just kicking my butt this week so uh i'm gonna go get washed up because i am absolutely filthy and uh get to a birthday party Y'all take care.